I'm here with Alex Rodriguez. She is proprietor of Green Room Yoga. So what can you tell about a person just by looking at their feet? Well, um, you can tell whether they, they actually enjoy their feet. A lot of people are kind of yucked by feet, you know? They keep them hidden in their shoes yeah. and, and then there's people that love their feet and paint their toes, but they still aren't aware of the structure of their foot. They aren't aware of how, you know, our feet are what connects us to the earth. Right. And they're what carry us through life from, you know, the minute we start to be able to move around on them until, you know, that point in time when we can't anymore. Right, okay. So they really do, uh, they do an awful lot for us. And what we do for them is we pack them into these shoes that, even if they're not those sort of old-fashioned pointy-toed shoes that people sort of say, oh, and then my feet got to be shaped because I wore these little, t you know, we put them into rigid shoes that have arch support and, or we put them into on top of orthotics, all sorts of things which are possibly in the moment good, but in the long term not so good. Yeah, bunions um, yeah, are often a result of um, something going on in the pelvic floor. Right. And it's hard to tell, you know, which comes first. Is it something that's going on in the foot that then over time it starts to affect the pelvic floor and there's a collapse there? But honestly, it doesn't really matter. The thing is, is to start to address it mm -hmm. and to start to make change. And yeah, it's the same as the pronation, you know, it's a typical woman thing, or mm -hmm. you know, they're the ones that supinate, you know, roll out. There's the people with flat feet, mm -hmm. and all of these things are not permanent. No? Are you sure? Am I sure? I am. I have seen so much change. I'm a person who had a bunion. My grandmother has a bunion, my mom has a bunion, my sister, my niece all have bunions right and I did and sounds like it would be genetic genetic exactly but I'm stubborn mm -hmm. and I think because of my stubbornness mm -hmm. and my unwillingness to accept you know this okay well this is what I have to put up with for the rest of my life and oh I'm gonna have to wear these and I did I wore orthotics for about 10 years and I just said no and I started to make subtle shifts I started to do exercises both in the pelvic floor and I started to work on my feet. I started to do a lot of um, both strength and um, sort of opening, stretching of my feet. You get to a dollar store and you yeah. get yourself a couple of balls. You can okay. use golf balls. Tennis balls tend to be a little bit, you know how tennis balls collapse? If uh -huh. you yeah. So they tend to be a little bit not the best, but mm -hmm. I just go to dollar stores and okay. I grab myself a couple of balls right. and you get on the ball. Okay, the you ball. gotta get on the ball. And what do you do? What do you do? You roll on the ball. You place it in certain places so that you can start to, the idea is to start to find the arches on the feet again. Mm -hmm. And because um, we've lost a lot of them. Right. Yeah. So it's not even so much that, you know, a person with bunions must do this specific thing on the foot and a person with pronation must do this specific thing. Okay. Just working in general on the foot and building strength oh, okay. can start to shift. I mean, definitely somebody with bunions, you want to start to say, okay, when you are uh, standing, be aware, where is your big toe? Because bunion people, their big toes start to head off and hang out a lot with their second toes. Right, okay. So you start to get them to encourage that big toe to point straight forward. So little subtle things, but for the most part, working to build the strength back into the foot mm -hmm. after you have opened the foot from some ball work and okay. some hand work, it can shift pretty much any foot issue. Well, what's the, what's the hand work that you're doing? Oh, it's real simple um, spreading of the toes, starting to bring space back. Okay. Things, shoes will mm -hmm. over time, you know, because we're, we're held, we, we, you know, from the time so many of us wake up in the morning, we put on shoes mm -hmm. and we don't, you know, we come home, we kick them mm -hmm. off at the end of the day. And then we're, we're not actually spending a lot of time feeling the ground mm -hmm. and really noticing how is my foot sitting on the ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, our feet are lazy. Our feet are lazy and they're, I use the word congested, you know, mm -hmm. like there's this level of, uh, there's no life. Right, and yeah. Suppleness yeah. in the feet anymore. You yeah. Know, you want to come back to the, the supple and strong feet. So okay. you want to take your metatarsal, those bones, mm -hmm. and start to find the space again in between them, start to open those muscles. Mm -hmm. So you can also work with thumbs in between those bones okay. and start to bring the space back and okay. bring the, the life back. And it 
doesn't always feel good. No, that's doesn't? the thing that right. people struggle with oh, okay. is it doesn't necessarily feel good. You know, it's like somebody who has very tight hamstrings in the first, and somebody says, "Okay, stretch your ham." They kind of go, "Oh, it just feels so bad," yeah. and so then they don't want to do right. it. Right. But their hamstrings not going to get better right. unless they actually do it. So some of the stuff maybe doesn't feel great, okay. but it's the good pain. Okay. So that sort of painful yep. kind of holding starts to diminish, and the the awareness of the big toe it starts to you know if the work is done if you do you take the time and do those exercises and learn to move your big toe it's it's not easy mm -hmm. so many of us don't even know that our big toes can move from side to side it's true it's true a lot of people don't ever wiggle their toes never i don't even know why why feet are fun you want to wiggle your toes Wiggle your toes and have fun with your feet. Yeah, yeah. Give your feet some love. Some great advice from Alex Rodriguez. Alex, if people want to learn more about the yoga studio, how do they find out about you? They can go online and check out um, the website at greenroomyoga.ca. Greenroomyoga.ca. Thanks, Alex. Thank All right. you. See you next time. For more great videos and free information on natural health, log on to toddcaldicott.com.